looking at BEL, the first thing that obviously comes to mind is about power. We're here to provide our customers with reliable service, um, but the most reasonable uh, rates possible. But I can tell you that for the employees that come to work here every day, we're very keen on doing a little bit more than that. We're very keen on um, engaging in activities and doing things that um, are focused on improving the quality of life in our communities. If you talk to just about any BL employee, they'll quickly tell you about our annual um, Christmas hamper drive and our Christmas morning breakfast. Each year employees raise funds throughout the year and just a few days before Christmas they go out into the communities to deliver Christmas hampers to deserving families and this is done across the country. In addition to that, on Christmas morning, our employees sacrifice time with their families, sacrifice time with their own children to go out into the streets and deliver uh, Christmas morning breakfast to the homeless and also toys to the children of deserving families. The people of Belize own the majority shares in BEL now. So that underscores in my mind the importance in improving the quality of life in Belize, paying attention to social environment, the economic environment, and seeing what we can do as a cooperation to, to help out. The Belize Electricity Limited Golden Citizens Bill Pay program all started last year um, when one of our employees, a customer care rep within the call center, decided to reach out to a needy, deserving, very deserving customer who was a golden citizen. She realized that this customer was um, in a very bad situation that they couldn't pay their electricity bill. She reached out to the, her fellow colleagues within her department, which is the call center, to ask for their assistance to try and come up with some needed, much needed funds to help this customer pay off her electricity bill. And with that in mind, they all came together and decided that, you know what, they're gonna pay the entire year bill for this customer. This was brought to the attention of management, and management realized that, you know what, this is a very good initiative. This is tied into our employees' heart and soul, whereby they have always been trying to reach out to customers. Mind you, this is not the first time this has happened at customer care. Employees have always been going into their pocket, but this is the first time that it has been brought to the attention of top management, and they decided to take action, and the action came in the form of this program. One of the criteria for this program is that the, the customer has to be 60 years and older. Now, a majority of our Golden Citizen customers fall in the bracket of social rate, and we do have some in residential rate, which um, normally the minimum charge for social rate is $4, the minimum for residential is 5 But we have to take into consideration that several customers, the Golden Citizen customers, do have one or two light bulbs in their house, which would take it a little bit above $5 which is then why we put the uh, consumption value, dollar value, at $120 for the year. We have approximately 200 and just over 275 employees here at BEL. So I'm sure you appreciate the need for us to um, be proactive in terms of creating opportunities to create strong teams, right? When you have a large organization, um, there's opportunity, a lot of opportunities for things not to go so well, right? So it's important that we take deliberate action to make sure that we're on the same page and working as a strong team. One of the things that we emphasize heavily is, is training. We have to make sure that our employees are equipped with the necessary skills to, to deliver the quality service and to meet the goals and objectives that we have um, set out in our plan. So we emphasize training heavily. We emphasize training um, both in technical areas as well as in non-technical areas. In terms of the non-technical training, we focus on um, time management training, um, leadership uh, supervisory training. Safety becomes very important for us, especially for our linemen when they're working on high tension power lines. Um, so we emphasize safety in our training and also road safety, defensive driving, and we do that for our employees who are in the field um, um, frequently. That becomes very important. BL faces strong emphasis on safety for all of its employees. Safety first. That shows that the company cares for us 
and that creates the culture that whatever we do, they ensure that we do it safely. For example, if an environment is not safe, they will not allow us to work. And if we do not have on the proper safety gears, they will not allow us to work. And this of itself enriched our lives, not only at work, but also at home. Yes, safety is very important to us because of the high risk nature of our business, but we also push the importance of living healthy. In fact, the company um, provides part sponsorship. Uh, the company pays part of the gym fees for employees who are interested in, in, in attending, participating in, in a gym. We do encourage employees to live healthy um, because it benefits you, it benefits your family, you work well. Healthy living is encouraged, it is emphasized. Yes, we interact professionally on the job, but we also believe that social interaction is important. And so along these lines, we have our annual employee sports day, our annual um, Valentine karaoke competition, which is a very popular event. And we also have our annual Christmas party and employee recognition and awards program. I can tell you that one of the other initiatives that we're very proud of is our annual ecumenical uh, service. Um, I think it's unique to BEL, I may be wrong, I, I stand corrected, um, but every year we meet in fellowship to, to reflect on our past accomplishments, to give thanks, and also to pray for guidance going forward. Yes, you have the business side of things, you have the, the social side of things where we have our annual Christmas party and our Valentine karaoke and sports day, but it's also important for us to, to fellowship together. And that is what the annual ecumenical service is all about. The theme for this year's ecumenical service is standing on God's promise, faith, hope, and love. And we have been doing this ecumenical service for 14 years. I believe that they, because of the good culture that we share, I think about 80% of our employees are here for 10 years and more. And we have a few employees who are here for 40 years. So I can say for myself and my co-workers, most of my co-workers, that retirement age will meet me right here at BEL. At BEL, we have a very low um, turnover ratio. In fact, you walk not very far and you're going to find an employee who has been here for 10 years, over 10 years, over, over 20 years, over 30 years. In fact, last year in 2011, we had two employees who retired from the company after serving 40 years. <laughs> 40 years of service. Um, those employees are Mr. Um, Antonio Rami Ramirez. He worked in the substation department. And Mr. Avery Rangai, he worked in the customer care department. So I do take this, uh, this opportunity to thank them for their many years of dedicated and valuable service. We have so many employees who have been here for so many years. And I think that speaks well that as a company, we must be doing something right. Um, we strive to ensure or to maintain high levels of employee satisfaction, high levels of um, employee morale. Um, like with any other organization, we do have challenges, we do have diffic difficulties, we, you know, we experience it from time to time. But like I said, we, we take deliberate steps to ensure that we create the type of environment where employees are satisfied, where employees are happy. Because if you have happy employees, you have satisfied employees, they will produce and we will be able to meet our goals and objectives. Being an employee of BEL for almost two years, I feel that management takes great interest in providing relevant training, good benefits, and they recognize and reward employees for a job well done. This sense of appreciation promotes a positive and productive workplace where we feel happy and do a better job. I must um, say thank you on behalf of BEL, thank you to Restore Belize for approaching us, for inviting us to participate in this Get Involved program. We think it's a wonderful um, initiative. We congratulate the efforts of Restore Belize. It's about community. It's about giving back. And for BEL, that has and will continue to be a very important aspect of what we do. Yes, we provide power. Yes, we want to make sure it's at the most reasonable rates. And yes, we are effecting a lowering of electricity rates. But at the end of the day, I think as a corporate citizen we have a responsibility to, to help improve the, the lives of, of people in our community. Mm -hmm.